trust me, you you want to use what I'm about to use. Let me wash my hands and I'll come back. So we're back after washing my hands and next on the agenda would to open this box. Even though this is a 2010 car, I'm not sure why Range Rover decided not to go for it, but this car does not have Bluetooth. So I'm having to connect my phone or our both of our phone through AUX to listen to music. Weirdly enough, it does have Bluetooth, but only <laughs> for phone calls and not for music. Now, I'm either using the settings wrong or truly that's how it works. So you can actually do a hands-free uh, dial. Is it, you can, yes. You can make phone calls. Yeah. You can even tell it what a command. See mm -hmm, what like you, a voice command. A voice command. Yeah. You can speak to the, you know, mm. tell it what to do. You can navigate. You can do a lot of things through Bluetooth, except the one thing, which is listen to music. Yeah. So we have to connect AUX. This device, it has AUX feature and you can connect the USB mm -hmm. and you can connect uh, an iPod. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this where it gets interesting. This part cost me 88 pounds. 88, yeah. 88 pounds. So it's quite expensive for a Bluetooth device. But it will check the car that I have Bluetooth. The problem with AUX is you cannot skip the song. Mm -hmm. You can put the volume higher, lower, but you cannot skip the song. You, if you want to skip the song, you need a Bluetooth device. Okay? So this is specifically made for Land Rover. Air dual Bluetooth adapter for car, iPod, music interface. So this is specifically made for this specific car or for Land Rovers mm -hmm. yep. and Jaguars, actually. It does say Land Rovers and Jaguars. So that device goes into the iPod connection because mm -hmm. you have an iPod. So it goes into through iPod connection. And then from the iPod connection, it, it shifts to Bluetooth. So. When you go in the car, you have to play on the iPod, mm -hmm. but your phone will be connected through Bluetooth. So from the car point of view, the system, it will think is playing iPod, but really is playing through your phone. So you can skip music. You can see the music on the dashboard and the song and play it as if like it is uh, built in. Or it's, it's like an iPod, mm -hmm. basically. Just check, check, to check the device, to think that there's an iPod there. So let's open it. It looks, it, packaging looks great, actually. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, it's a tape here. Been taped. Mm -hmm. So, it's gonna be moved up. And let's open it. Oh, it's quite small. Comes with like a Is that a like charger? the, is Not that sure Type-C is... to USB? No, that's mini USB to oh, USB. Yeah. Not sure why. Mm. I thought I don't need one, but perhaps additional. It comes with a manual as well. Mm -hmm. Let me see, uh, quickly open. This here is specifically for this car. Okay? This is compatible for this car. You need to check compatibility. But this is specifically for this car. And that's how it should work like that. And that's the instruction. Mm -hmm. If you want to pause the video right now, so you can see it. And then this here as well. If you want to pause the video right now, so you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna follow the usual route I take which is never to read the instruction, plug it in, <laughs> not work, and then blame the manufacturer. <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, I kind of know, it's very it's straightforward. Just plug it in and play, it's plug and play. So uh, with this in mind, should we, should we plug it in and play? Now, okay. of course, I'm gonna try to play music. I don't want uh, to have any copyright issues. So uh, what I'm gonna do, perhaps play uh, one of our videos from YouTube. Yes, and yeah, we can yeah, from it. the video editing software. Yeah, yeah it's fine. So, should we go inside the car and give it yeah, a try? Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Do, it. let's yeah. do it. So to show you the way I connect, uh, is I connect the phone here through this adapter. It's an AUX jack with uh, a USB, okay? So it's all two in one, and I connect it, the AUX here in the rear uh, of the car. The car. If you have this sort of car, similar sort of car, you know exactly uh, what I mean uh, and you know exactly what we're doing. But to give it a full chance of succeeding, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to turn on the engine. It may be loud, uh, my voice may be not as clear, but I think it's best to do it with the engine on to give it yeah. a fair assessment. Yeah. Because 
it may not work and it could be due to my fault not turning the car on. Mm -hmm. So let's start with turning the car on. Okay, that's the car turned on. I'm just gonna make sure that the music is off. Okay, music off. Now, it goes here into the upcode. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the upper connection. Let me turn the light on for you to see you one second. So it goes one way. See see how it is it has a lip here. Yeah. yeah. Here, you see that? That good way it goes up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pick it up. So we need to put this one, this bit, goes on top. Like so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's in. Oh! It's flashing. What is the flash? It's flashing oh, red. Oh yeah, flashing red. What does that mean? That does is that mean, off. Uh-huh. So red may mean that it's on That's and on. functioning. So let's go to video. Let's go to iPod. Please connect device. So number one, we are going to connect to Bluetooth. So it's connected through the Land Rover, but this is the Land Rover Bluetooth, which is the one that allows you to make phone calls, but it doesn't allow you to listen to music. So it's none of these. Let's click scan. Okay, so we do need to connect. It looks like we do need to connect this to give it power because I cannot find it when I search. It's not there. No device found. So put it from the back. Okay. And then there is a USB port here. Just connect it to this USB port. Ah, uh, now it's flashing blue. Mm hmm Okay, let's scan. Aha! Uh -huh. So I found it. In the very, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Should we click on it? Let's say pairing. Pair? Mm -hmm. Yes, pair. Let's see. We're saying it couldn't connect. Let's connect again. Connect to media. Audio. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now we have Bluetooth. So it's connected to two things, which is important. Yeah. It's connecting this to the media and it's connecting to this to the phone. So I can still make phone calls because you cannot make phone calls through this. You can uh -huh. only listen to music through this. Yes. And you can still make phone calls through Land, Ro Land, uh, Land Rover. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Browse. Oh, you can see. Wow. This Sorry. is my, uh, uh, my phone. What settings mm -hmm. no okay so let's pretend you want to listen to uh, music like uh, I'm not gonna play music so I'm going to just gonna go on YouTube and I'm going to play one of our videos videos so let's put the volume up <laughs> it, it's working yeah it is <laughs> it's working so it has to be here on this on BTO. Yeah. What does this one do? That pauses. Wait, that po uh -huh. okay. And that plays. Yeah. Yeah. Stuck. Oh. oh no. That's the next video. Oh, this through the button. Video. Yes, so you can change. Oh nice. Let me see on here. Can we should we check if we can change from here? Yeah. Yes. It works. It works. <laughs> so you can change. So forward and back, yeah. Next yeah. one and let's get back. Up. You can put up the and down. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's working. Yeah. It, it's working. And what is browse playlist? Previous? No, I don't think that worked because that is pretending it's the. Uh, uh huh. But it's here. And then what happened if I go main menu? It doesn't show here. Video audio, yeah. yeah. However, it's not showing so behind in front of me because that doesn't oh, yeah. show yeah. like what you're playing. Uh, yes, display I settings. Yeah. I'm gonna put this down so you can hear me. So yes. now I'll put this down so you can hear me. So what I was saying that it, what, you cannot see it, you cannot see the music here. Yeah. Okay. Because it just doesn't have it. Appearance, one second. Display settings. Not language. Yeah. Appearance off road, yeah. Off -road or not, so yeah. you cannot see it here, but you can see here, and this 
is the let me see you can see the title yeah yeah you can see the title yeah but at least you can skip songs okay through the actual yeah. buttons on the so now room. you have bluetooth With less distraction nothing yeah. connected you can see there's no connection yeah and we have bluetooth okay. so that's working and if you want to make a phone call uh one two three four call welcome to your voicemail here, here you go so it's working yes so phone calls are working and the connection is the working connection and is the working. music is working yeah. yeah the reason why i bought this bluetooth you may think think okay just put aux why you spend 88 pound okay well there is a reason when I'm driving, I want to skip a song. I cannot skip songs in AUX. So I need Bluetooth to skip songs. And now with Bluetooth, I can skip songs while I'm driving from the mm -hmm. from the buttons on the steering wheel. Yeah. And I can skip here or the passenger next to me, Alex, for example, if she yes. wants to skip a song while I'm driving, she can skip songs here and she can move through yeah. the songs and can she read the name of the song. We don't have to go through the phone and skip it, which is dangerous. You're and, not supposed to yeah. drive and go on your phone. Is it worth the 88 pound for us? It is. Uh, now for yeah. you, it would be a different thing. And also there is a reason why it's, it's good, useful for a different use that I will explain to you in the next video, which would be the next device, the third device we're gonna open uh, in the package.